Hi fellow home makeup fiends. So today I'm doing my June favourites and I thought I'd have a bit of a change of scenery. I quite enjoyed filming in the bedroom the other day and I thought the light was quite nice although now it's looking a little bit bright. I hope I'm not looking too washed out or anything. I just thought it was quite a nice background with Bert in the background with all my clothes on. Just looks quite nice. It's a change so let me know what you think about the change in background. I've got quite a lot of favourites to go through so I'm literally just going to get straight down to it. We all know how good I can talk that this could be a 30 minute video. I really want to try not to do that. <laughs> I want to try and like crack on and get through them. If there are any products I do mention that you do want to know more about please feel free to ask questions below or if you want to see a, a more in-depth review uh, then also ask below. Um, there are a couple of products here that I will mention but will do a further review on or oh, there is at least one product that I'm going to do a further review on um, because I've had it for a couple of weeks now been using it every day absolutely love it um, I didn't share it with you when I first got it because I was keeping it to do a fuller in-depth review and I'm waffling so I'm gonna stop <laughs> and I'm gonna crack on so I'm gonna start with two things really um, this is the Eye Slip Face Large Brush Holder. It's £14 on their website. You would have seen this in my recent video. I did a little review sort of product rave about it. I love it. I mean, it's not finished perfectly. It's a bit rough on the edges and stuff. Um, yeah, but I love it. I like that it doesn't have Eye Slip Face on both sides because I actually prefer to use it just having the blank side forward. I don't like the Eye Slip Face part particularly. Just I don't really have e.l.f. products. Um, I've never really got anything from e.l.f. so yeah so I just quite like just the plain frontage here um, but it's got all my Real Techniques brushes in and those are my second thing I'm going to mention because I absolutely love these Real Techniques brushes um, I've got one up here that I took out before I brought them through um, I absolutely have been loving my stippling brush I use that to put on cream blusher I'm wearing cream blusher at the moment it's a MAC product it's also in the favourites so we'll get to that later um, but I really love this brush but I have to rave about the brushes because they are really, I would say that 95% of the time those are the only brushes I use. I do occasionally use other brushes out of my collection just for the odd little thing but I use a Real Techniques brush more than one I would say per day. So I will always be using Real Techniques brushes. I absolutely love them. They're amazing and I just think my makeup looks a lot better using them. Um, the next thing for makeup application is the Beauty Blender. I kind of had the Cosmopolitan one and I just found it discoloured quite quickly. Um, I found it had quite a hard texture and that um, it did develop some cracks. I'd only had it for about four to six months and it was cracking quite badly and a bit came out. And I was like, no, I'm going to try the real thing. I've been using this one for about three months and it looks brand new. Now this is not the size it would normally be. Um, this is I've actually just used this this morning and washed it. I use the actual cleanser that comes with the beauty blender because it was a pack. Now I've lost one of these somewhere, it's somewhere, I don't know where it is. But um, yeah, so I basically just cleanse it as soon as I've used it and wash it and then let it dry naturally. But I absolutely love this for foundation application. I don't use it every day um, because I do prefer um, the buffing brush from Real Techniques. I love this. Um, I think it's great. I didn't think I was going to like it the first time I used it. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But I found a technique that works for me with it. But I love the Beauty Blender. It's amazing. So that is that. <laughs> um, and we'll move on to, well, we'll just keep going with whatever's in front of me, I guess. I'm um, loving the Impress Nails. Of course, you know that I tried the Home Wrecker ones, which are the gorgeous bright blue. I absolutely love this colour blue. It's beautiful. Um, but these are Ecstatic Cling. And these are the neon pink ones. I actually have quite a few of these now. I've been going a bit mad on them and when I've been out and about I've been picking them up at Superdrug because I get 100 points back so I've therefore, you know, I already had enough on for one pack. Then I went and got a couple of others and I had enough for another pack so yeah I've got quite a few now but I absolutely love them and I can't wait to try these neon pink ones. Um, the next few items, oh this is a strange item, well you're going to think it's strange. This is a roll of uh, I would say it's like a dry wipe so like baby wipes but dry these are actually from Huggies and you get these in the section where the cotton pads are in the baby aisle um, I absolutely love this so it's basically just a big roll and I break off one piece every day and as you can see well, I might as well break it off because I'll use it tomorrow and it's just quite thick and soft. I fold this in two, you would have seen this on one of my videos about my brushes. And then I spray it with the um, the cleaning spray. 
and as I'm using my brushes I clean them so basically I only wash my brushes like deep cleanse them every 10 to 14 days because I actually clean them every time I use them with the spray and it seems to be doing a really good job so I love this and that is from Huggies I think I already said that um, next thing I might as well mention oh actually this is here I forgot to mention this at the same time this is the blender cleanser this actually came with the blender I like the design of this basically it's got this kind of suction cup here and you press it down and the cleanser comes out on the top of there and then you can dab your cleanser in it takes usually about two pumps and then that gets it clean and it's got a nice sort of lavender sort of smell to it so that's lovely kind of running out of space to put things um, the next thing I will mention, where is it? Oh, I don't think I've gone through it. Oh, I have. Right, is the Bare Minerals Quick Change Brush Cleansing Spray. Absolutely love this. This is £10 at Debenhams. I actually got this for free because I had enough points. I've had it quite a long time now and I recently just got my £5 bonus because you get one of those every, I don't know whether it's every six months, every year of Debenhams. And I already had £5 on the card so I went and picked up another one of these because basically I'm about down to there starting to get a bit difficult to spray it out but I love this I use this every single day um, next thing I'm going to talk about a couple of cleansers that I'm really enjoying I absolutely have been loving number seven's beautiful skin hot cloth cleanser um, I was kind of I don't know why I thought that this should be something that you only use maybe once or twice a week just because it was a bit different to any other cleanser because I am quite new to cleansers in the last couple of months but I've actually been using this every day I use this in conjunction with something else and wow I absolutely love this it's so creamy and my skin feels amazing after using it on a morning, I'm using the number seven beautiful skin cleansing water. This is for <laughs> normal to oily skin. And basically every morning when I get up, I put about six pumps of this in the palm of my hand, rub it all over my skin and then just wash it off with my clean and clear soap. And yeah, I love the smell of this and I just like having that cleanse on a morning because when you're sleeping and it's warm weather, you know, your pores are opening and you know, your oils and things. And I just do find it just really refreshes my face and I think my skin's been a lot cleaner and clearer using these things. Um, the next thing is a bath product. It's the Satsuma shower gel, which of course, um, if you spoke to anybody in the body shop, uh, they would have said, said to you, told you that you can actually use this as a bubble bath as well. So that's what I've been using this as. Just basically two nice globs of this into the bath, masses of bubbles, an amazing smell that fills the whole house, and I absolutely love it. So I've been using that every day. Um, another thing that I use, and I probably do this around four to five times a week, because um, I love the Satsuma body butter, and I use that on night times as well, because I bath, have a hot, like a hot bath um, every night, really late on, sometimes about one o'clock in the morning, to be honest. Um, and I, I always put on the body butter afterwards. But I've been preferring this little um, duo, and I've been using this about five days out of seven, and it's the May Deo Organic White Lotus and Yai Yai yee yee Ren. <laughs> oh god I can't read that anyway it's the My Dio by Rituals and this was free with a magazine absolutely love this I picked up another couple of these because the smell is such a fresh smell in fact I need to smell it right now to kind of <sighs> it's just so fresh it kind of reminds me of the number seven range it's just got that nice fresh smell it's not strong it's not heavy really really nice and I'm getting another one of these and so, so I'm very excited about that because I love this and I use this and I basically put that across my shoulders um, my chest area my neck and on my arms um, and then on my legs I use this which is the number seven pampering dry oil body spray love this it's got such a beautiful smell um, Oh, it's gorgeous it's got almond oil in it and it just smells totally amazing and it's not greasy you basically put it on because it's a dry oil it dries quite quickly just leaves a lovely sheen on your legs if you were going out somewhere I think this would be perfect um, if you didn't want to wear tights and you were wearing a dress you could just literally put some of this on your legs and it would give it a lovely soft glow it's really nice but I just love the smell and I just it feels very pampering on the skin um, the next thing is something that I'm definitely going to be reviewing as I say I've been raw testing it for a couple of weeks now and it's the Clarisonic Plus yeah, Clarisonic Plus um, I wasn't going to get this been thinking about it for a long time talking about it with all that kind of saying oh you know my skin can sometimes be quite grey just doesn't look very good and I said I've been thinking about this and QVC had it on for three easy payments and it was reduced on a special offer so 
he said, well, get it. So I got it and I got like a couple of little samples with it and then I got the extra pack with it. And basically that's two full size of the Hydra, the Hydra cleanser and the body polish. And then it came with three extra heads as well. So you got the body head, a sensitive and a delicate head as well. This is just the normal one. And I absolutely love this so much. I just can't put it into words. I use it every single day. First one I used it, I was like, oh, maybe you can only use this like a couple of times a week. You know, I, I didn't really know. Been looking into it and found out that you can, you can actually use it every day. And my skin is just so much better. I just feel like it's so clean and so fresh and it just looks amazing after I've done it. And even Alec has said to me after the first time he used it, he said, wow, your skin looks so clean. Um, it's not that I don't wash, it's just that I think that sometimes you don't get all the product off and I do have quite large pores which is um, something um, yeah, that I've had to deal with. So I've been absolutely loving this and I have actually been using that with um, the number 7 hot cloth. So basically I have been using this that came with it which is the Clarisonic General Hydro Cleanser. It's absolutely amazing but there's not much left in there now um, because I have actually. I used this for the, the whole of the first week. Um, I probably used this for about 10 days so there's not much left in the bottom there now. I'd say it's probably like meant to be maybe a, a, like a 14 day sample but I'm getting 10 days out of it and I'll probably only get another one two if I'm lucky out of it. Um, but I've actually been using the Clarisonic with the number seven beautiful skin cleanser. Oh, it's amazing. I was putting it on the brushes and then putting it on the skin, um, but I've actually been putting it on my skin and then just using the Clarisonic on it and it's amazing. So I will do a review, even though I've kind of waffled on about it there, I will do like a separate review about that. Um, eyeshadow wise, Naked 2. Uh, I know, it's so boring. <laughs> These pop in so many people's favorites. Um, but I love it. My favourite colour in here is probably, if I can see it, it's Verve, which is just a kind of frosty white colour. Oh, I just love this. It's fantastic. It's amazing when you get up for work and you're like, right, what shall I put on my eyes? And you just basically slap this on and it always looks great. So I've been loving that. Um, the rest of the stuff is pretty much makeup related. Um, I'm trying not to blind you. This is a QVS mirror. I think it's a um, magnification of 10. I use it every single day and I couldn't do my eye makeup without it. So I thought I would mention that. Um, Sleek blush by three palettes. This is my favorite one that I've got. This is lace. And I know a lot of people have raved about this one. Love the colors. And I love wearing the two outer colors together makes just a really nice coral colour um, so yeah they work really well together I love that I love sleek brushes at the moment which is why I have another one of my favourites and oh hello Mr Pigeon <laughs> this one is pixie pink gorgeous I love this pink so sleek blushes um, next couple of things I'm going to mention some lip balms absolutely love the Born Lippy I featured this in a video quite a while ago and I said it's very much a dupe for the Tender Tomes by MAC I love the smell, I love the feel on the lips, they taste amazing, just gorgeous. As I said, this is the Satsuma one and lovely, I love it, love the smell of it. The other lip products or lip balms are the MUA ones. These are the Love Hearts collection, you can still actually get them in store, I thought they would have gone by now but they're still there. In fact, my Superdrug have just literally stocked up the shelf and put loads back out again, which is good news. Um, the, my favourites are Great Lips, which is the beige toned one great over my peaches and my very neutral nudes and then sugar lips which is a pink so I absolutely love these these are lovely and creamy not sticky and yeah they just give them a nice sort of glow to your lips um time cream not much to say about that really it's my moisturizer it was in a carmine box I've collected quite a few of these still trying to get hold of them wherever I can find them um because I absolutely love this stuff it just gives a lovely glow to the skin and my skin just feels really moisturized with it so that is time cream and then on my face foundation wise I have been wearing the Garnier for combination to oily skin this is so amazing in fact the other day I just wear this and I didn't even put foundation on top of it I think that's the benefits of the Clarisonic shown through and then this is just amazing it's got lovely coverage and it's just a perfect colour for me um, so I wear that and I've been using under that the MAC, the, MAC, the MAC Prep and Prime I've got a couple of samples of this this is the Skin Base Visage <laughs> 
I am going to have to probably buy this at some point because this is an amazing primer. It's fantastic. This little tube has literally lasted just ages. This is I've got three samples. This is the first one and I've been using this probably for a couple of weeks. You only need a small amount of it and it just my makeup stays on fantastically well. Um, so I put that on, put the Garnier on top and then I do a mixture of two things. I put my True Match on. This foundation is fantastic. It's just lovely. It's just it looks like it wouldn't necessarily match me but it's incredibly pale on the skin and it doesn't have like any kind of orange tones which I find some sort of um, foundation brands do have it just is so beautiful it's just a really flawless canvas and I love it and I mix Max strobe liquid in with it and it just gives that little bit of a glow to your skin I absolutely love the strobe liquid this is more recommended for oily to combination skin whereas the strobe cream is more for the dry skin because it's a thicker con like a thicker consistency but the strobe liquid's beautiful and I actually use that as a highlight as well. Um, the next thing is an absolute product rave and it's MAC Fix Plus. I don't care about all these reviews in fact I, the other day I just kind of was a little bit annoyed about the other reviews in a way because a lot of people go oh, this doesn't fix makeup this is you know this is not great for that there's a certain male makeup artist who just slated this and said that but yeah it sets it for 10 seconds and that's it no way I had makeup on the other day bright green eyeshadow um, eyeliner gel eyeliner mascara and other eyeliner underneath and I was out in the rain because my yard was flooding and I was out there for at least 45 minutes in pouring rain and my eye makeup did not budge the only thing that did budge was a little bit of eyeliner smudged underneath my eye but I had no mascara run down my face and it wasn't waterproof mascara none of my eye make makeup none of my gel eyeliner none of it had run whatsoever and I totally put it down to this because this is fantastic um, none of my other makeup had run um, I had cream blusher on, it was still intact, <laughs> my makeup just looked amazing. I looked like a drowned rat, <laughs> my hair was totally soaked and stuck to me, but my makeup looked perfect, so I absolutely rave about this stuff. I think you can get it in a little bottle for £7, so it might be worth you trying it. And I know different products are different for other people, some people might not find they don't work quite as well, but for me this is an absolute lifesaver and I wear this every day. Um, next things I guess I'll talk about the Daniel Sandler products because I'm going to do a review on these as well um, I've been loving these blushes <laughs> I did a video for Sarah of found on film because um, she'd got these and she was finding a bit of a problem in putting them on um, and I had already had these for around a year I've had these probably about a year I think maybe a little bit longer and I absolutely love them I think they're amazing such an amazing product and I've got the official Daniel Sandler watercolor brush um, it's very very soft and I just find that this is probably the best thing to put them on with and um, yeah so I've got a video on how you apply these you can check that out if you want to I've got passion on today which is the blusher um, I haven't got this on today but I've been using this a lot this is um, I've got two highlighter shades and four blush shades and I will do a more in-depth review on the colors I've got um, but this color passion is just really really pretty I hope you can see that um, but I really just love the sort of glowiness of them and you just need the tiniest amount they're gonna last forever um, the next thing is an eye pencil it's by Diego Dalla Palma available I think it's exclusive at Tesco but don't quote me on that I did a cheeky little order with Tesco and I got a couple of things from their range and it's the first time I've tried anything from them and I've been really impressed and I will do a little haul including those things but this is the eye pencil I got it's double ended so it's got like a sort of warm chocolatey brown on one end and then it's got this sort of beige colour on the other end and I've got that in my lower waterline today and it just makes your eyes look that little bit bright, brighter and wider um, I absolutely love this it's an amazing pencil uh, the next item is from Bourgeois and it is the light I can never read this because it's quite funny light concentrate de lumiere in 01 I use this on the inner eye corners and it's basically just that and I use it on my brow bone as well just under my brows uh, it's just really nice really lovely inner corner highlight um, the next thing is HD brows now I've actually been using Bombshell and this one is Vamp so I had two of them because I got one in I got two glossy boxes and got two of these and I was using the other one but found the colour was just I don't know it was a funny colour for me and I just found I wasn't entirely happy with it um, but I've been absolutely loving this colour 
and I've actually got it on a day and it is just the same colour as my natural brows so I think it's fantastic and I have used the darker colour which has got a bit more warmth and it's okay um, they're quite nice combined together the next thing is what I'm actually wearing on my eyes today and it's from Gosh this is called Water Lily and this is a lovely eye trio and it's just got this lime uh, lilac and sort of a light teal blue and it totally reminds me of the sugar pill heartbreaker palette which is just far too expensive for me to get um, and I just love the colours and I saw this and I thought yeah I'm gonna get that because I think those colours are amazing and I've actually got them on today so I've got the lilac on my eye lid and then I've got the lime in the in a corner and the blue up in the crease and I absolutely love this palette I love the colours um, last couple of things <laughs> um, I've been loving this I've gone back to this it's quite faded on the back so all I can really tell you is this is the number seven eyeshadow base it actually comes in white packaging now rather than the black that's what it looks like as you can see I've hit pan on that one um, I have got another backup of this thank goodness because I absolutely love this it's so creamy it's lovely um, you just rub your finger in there and it smooths beautifully over the eyelid and it folds shades on really really well so I've been using this every day and I absolutely love it the next thing is a MAC Magically Cool Liquid Powder. Magically Cool and Liquid Powder? Yeah, I'm sure that's what it's called. This one is in Truth and Light. I'm not going to open it because it's very, very finely milled and it's just a bit fly away. Um, I haven't got this one on today. I've actually got Honey Rose on today, which is a little bit darker. I wanted to go for a little bit of a, a more sort of sun-kissed kind of look and Honey Rose does that for me. But I love Truth and Light and I've been using this every day as my loose powder. It gives a little bit of a subtle glow to the face. I don't find it glittery or shimmery though, it's just a nice glow. Next thing is an eyeshadow combination I've been loving wearing and this is what I was wearing in the rain the other day. Um, it is from the Hey Sailor collection. This one is called Feeling Fresh. It's a beautiful green. I absolutely love this and I find it complements my eye colour really well. And then I've been wearing that on the lid and in the crease I've been wearing Filament by MAC. So I've been loving that eye combination and I haven't got it here but I've been loving the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black. I've been wearing that a lot this month as well. Um, on my cheeks I have been loving and I haven't used this very much but I have lately and it's Hush by MAC and it's a cream colour base it's the peachy coloured one and I really love this when I'm wearing sort of a peachy or corally colour cheek colour and this just gives you a really beautiful glow kind of I've actually got that on today with passion so I put this on and that's already got a bit of a glow and then I've put this over the top and it just gives it that lovely sort of creamy glow the next two things are something I've also been using a lot. Actually, this month I've just really been wearing a lot of cream blushes. Um, I just really like the way they look. And I absolutely love these cream colour bases from MAC. This one is Keep It Loose, which is a peachy shade. I absolutely love this one on the cheeks. And the other one that I've been wearing is Have a Lovely Day, which is also beautiful. So yeah, wearing a lot of those kind of creamy sort of cheek things. The last four items are lipsticks and that is it. You'll be pleased to know the box is empty because <laughs> I've been waffling for a long time now. Um, another lips, these are all from MAC, sorry. I only really wear MAC lipsticks. Um, I also usually do a lucky dip and I've come across some ones that I haven't used for a while and I've been really loving them. This one is Red Racer. This is from the Hey Sailor collection and I absolutely love this red. It's gorgeous. So there's that one. And I like keeping that one in its packaging which might seem a bit sad but I quite like the packaging on that one. Uh, the next one is Amorous. I love this. This is um, quite a, a nice sort of deep plummy pink I would say. I had this on yesterday and I just think it looks really really nice. It's got quite a vampy look to it but without being too vampy if you know what I mean. Um, the next one is Acid Washed. Oh, I've been obsessed with this colour. It's actually what I've got on right now. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a nude colour and it kind of, um, it's not fully opaque what is it finishes it it is a glaze so it just kind of gives a lovely sort of nude wash to the lips it's just got quite a lot of shimmer in it which i really like i'm really enjoying shimmery glimmery sort of glittery lipsticks at the minute i don't know i just quite like them so i've been wearing acid washed a lot and the last one is called quite cute from the quite cute collection 
and it's just a very pale lilac colour and I've been loving wearing this. It just looks so amazing on the lips. Love it. Gorgeous. Very pretty. So I've been wearing that a lot lately and that is, you will be pleased to know, the end of my favourites. I've got quite a bad back from sitting in this chair. I'm going to have to organise something different for doing videos in here because I'm actually on Tony's desk chair and it's not overly comfortable for sitting like this. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my favourites. If you want to see any more reviews of anything else, um, then let me know. I have got upcoming reviews on the Daniel Sandler. I might do a sleek um, blusher review and I'm also going to do the Clarisonic Plus as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye!